Hey guys, Brendo New Productions here, and uh, what you are looking at right now is the BP Forums. The BP Forums. Now, out of the kindness of my heart, <laughs> I have actually uh, translated the old forums, which was like some long retarded URL, into these new forums called BP Forums. BP, obviously standing for Brendo New Productions. Now, um, here is a place where we can uh, discuss, make friends, learn, as it says here. But, um, yes, so I actually redesigned the forum totally, um, redesigned the rules, redesigned uh, how everything was operated. And uh, now the forum is a good place where you can just discuss whatever you want. Uh, well, like everything. You can, from gaming, computing, anything. You can actually uh, offer people jobs in the opportunity section as well. And we also support everybody to share their information in websites and creations. So you can do that in your things. So um, now that I got this site redesigned and reworked, uh, I, I want you guys to all sign up for it and be active on it. And here's the URL, bpforums.info. Look at that. Simple. bpforums.info. All right. Well, enough advertising for my forum. Just remember to go sign up. And... Um, so now we're going to start a new sign up for the forum project, and uh, this project is actually going to uh, sign up for the forum. Um, it's actually going to get a certain file sign up for the forum and see if it exists in a certain directory. And um, we'll actually be able to get all the files in the directory sign up for the forum. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry for the subliminal messages. Alright, we're actually going to get all the files in a specified directory. So um, you can. Uh, I don't know, get all the files and put them all in a list box, which is what we're going to do. So, um, in order to do this, first thing you want to do is simply add a list box. And once you've done that, you're ready to start coding. So, in order to get all the files in a certain directory, first we need to figure out the directory. So, we're going to dim directory and we are going to make it um, I don't know C oops C work alright and this is the directory we're going to be working in so I'm just going to go ahead and create the directory I'm going to go to my local disk and um, make a new folder called work alright so now what we need to do is dim dir info you can name it whatever you want as new system dot io dot directory info now this will actually get all the info of a specified directory but in this case we want to get what the files are in the directory so now after we've made it a new directory info variable we're just going to um, select the path which is going to be directory um, and then what we want to do is um, so it let's let me just try to explain this. If we type dir info and then dot, we have tons of options with this certain directory. But we want to do what we want to do is actually get the files. And um, you can actually uh, search for certain files from this. But we're going to want to do um, search for all files, even in subdirectories. So we're going to do comma to make sure it searches all files, and then search. io.search option dot all directories. So this will even check subdirectories in the uh, in the in the folder C slash work. It will check all the subdirectories. And um, what we're searching for is an asterisk, which is pretty much uh, just means anything. Okay, so and now we are going to save a new variable as dir info dot get files. So we're going to actually get an array. So we're going to dim files, and then we put the parentheses around it uh, to make sure it's an array as string, right? And a array is pretty much just a string that can hold multiple things. So in a way, it acts just like a list box. So we're going to say files equals dir info dot get files. Actually, what we need to do is instead of making this a string we need to make it as uh, system.io dot file info so it'll actually get the information about uh, all these files and then what we, want, we want to do is check each file in this in this um, variable 
files. So we want to say for each file in files, list box one dot items dot add file. So what we're pretty much saying here is for each file, like for each unit inside the variable files, we're going to add that unit to the list box. So in this case, since we made the uh, variable files and we put the contents of it to get the files of this certain directory, it's going to add pretty much every file that is in that directory to the list box. So now we can test it out. We can actually add files to our directory. So I'm just going to uh, right click, say new, and then uh, rich text document, and I'm just going to name it lol. So now when we start up the application, it should load and lol should appear in the list box. And if you look at that, lol.rtf is actually in the list box. And we can actually add more things as well. So let's just add a text document and this this one named lol. So we are just going to run the project and uh, lol is also in the uh, list box as well. So with this coding, you can get all the files in a certain directory and put them in a list box. You can also do other things with these files like check the creation date and um, compare the creation date to this date to see how late ago it was created and do several other things. So thanks for watching this tutorial on how to get the files in a directory. I'm sorry if I was talking um, a little too fast. I'm kind of hyped up at the moment. But um, yes, just remember to sign up for the forum, rate, comment, subscribe, donate if you really are feeling charitable, and uh, have a great day. Alright, see you guys. Bye-bye.